breaking, an umbrella election runs into ditch as thousands of electoral ad hoc workers resign and Massey amid hype of threat. An umbra election runs into ditch as thousands of electoral ad hoc workers resign and mass amid hype of threat. However, despite its declaration of preparedness, many of those who signed up for the role have resigned. Welcome to today's news. Thousands of ad hoc workers for the Anambra State Governorship election have resigned due to fear of attacks by members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Sahara Reporters Land. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, had in May increased the polling unit in Anambra State from 4,608 to 5,720, with about 10,000 ad, ad hoc workers required for the governorship poll. However, despite the declaration of preparedness, many of those who signed up for the role have resigned. A source said, INEC is now a short of thousands of ad hoc staff members to members due to IPOB instructions. Those who initially signed up have now resigned en masse. Meanwhile, there had been a poor response by ad hoc workers who conducted the poll because of the security situation in the southeast region, particularly with the activities of IPOB. The group had issued a 12-day ultimatum to the Nigerian government for the unconditional release of their leader, Ronald Dekanu, failure of which the November 6 governorship election in Anambra State may not hold. IPOB, in a statement signed by its media and publicity secretary, Ima Powerful, on Sunday, gave the Nigerian government up to November 4 to release Kanu unconditionally, or it would commence a one week lockdown in the region effective November 5. The group explained that the one week sit at home order, which, which would end on November 10, was to press for the release of their leader when the Nigerian government was prepared to keep an incarceration and infinite term for nothing. The statement read, following the adjournment of our great leader Mazin Namdekanu's court case to 10th of November 2021 by the Federal High Court, Abuja, we the great movement and family of the indigenous people of Biafra and IPOP wish to inform Biafrans friends of Biafrans and lovers of freedom that IPO will lock down Biafra land from November 5 to 10 except Sunday, November 7, a day to our people worship the Almighty God, Chuku Okike Apiyama. If the Nigerian government fails to release our leader unconditionally before November 4, 2021, our leader Oyendu Mazen Nambikano must be released unconditionally or not before November 4, 2021, because he has not committed any offense known to any law failure to release our leader on or before November 4, 2021. Our one week sit at home begins on November 5, 2021 to November 10. The statement continued. Although we quite understand the pains and adverse effects of this option on our people, we are compelled to take it to achieve a better purpose in the collective interest of Biafra. We have taken time to analyze what transpired on October 21 when our leader was arraigned in court and discovered that the federal government is not sincere and only wants to emulate him and keep him perpetually in DSS custody to rot there. We also our lawyers, journalists, Igbo delegates and respected traditional rulers and other people who came from all around the world to witness his court case were, were distracted and denied access into the court premises by security agents who kept them outside under the scorching heat of the sun. What a humiliation and wickedness. We cannot accept that anymore. We can never allow our leader Onye Dukano to be tried secretly. And we can never also allow him to be tried under Sharia law under any guise. Nigeria must follow international laws in handling our leader. 
Mazinabdikanu is in the DSS dungeon today because of his compassion, because of his passion for Biafra's independence, and we must sacrifice all we can to ensure that he regains his freedom. He sacrificed so much for us all, we must, so we must be prepared to sacrifice a little for him, unless the federal government releases him unconditionally before November 4. We shall sacrifice one week for him as a warning protest to convey to our oppressors that an American represent over 70 million Biafras. He is innocent of all the charges preferred against him. As long as he is in detention, our individual businesses do not matter so much because he is, so, he is suffering for us all and we can't abandon him while regretting the inconveniences that the development may cause may cause the people it stated that it is a necessary sacrifice we need to make until we have our full independence nobody resident in Biafra land is expected to flout this directive as doing so amount to challenging the will of the people on the Biafra project this one week sit at home is also to let our oppressors understand that we are not going to tolerate any plan to torment or abandon our leader in the DSS custody through furious court adjournment. Any plans to subject him to trauma in detention through long adjournment while real terrorists and mass murderers are having fun across the country cannot fly. Nunambikanu must be freed because committed no crime asking for a referendum so that Biafrans will decide whether or not they want to continue as part of Nigerian is no crime. He should not suffer for seeking justice for his people. We have been enslaved and caged enough by the full and controlled federal government of Nigeria and its allies. If we shut down Biafra land just for one week to secure our permanent freedom, it is worth the sacrifice everybody should raise up for this sacrifice now i've come to the end of our today's news let's move to the comment section let's know what people's opinion are all about and before i start reading it is really it is indeed a humiliation adjoining a case of someone whereby there is no there is no evidence that that has been sued against him yet which i feel this is inhuman and it is of it is unfaithful and unlawful the first comment which is reaching me says, on, on no election in Biafra with stand, we are not insane. They've seen, any, they've seen all regions as a fool. Second comment here says, that is wisdom. If this administration says they will provide adequate security, you better translate that to the opposite. They are always providing security even when killing is going on. They are helpless. And comment here too says, which is my last comment, says, when the people are united against the government, they have nowhere to run to. When the people have spoken, no elections in Anabra, we are ready to, we are ready for this fight. Now I've come to the end of our comment sections too. Thanks for listening and have a great day. Thank you.